everyone. It's your extraordinary social media consultant, Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Agency. And today I'm going to show you how to use testimonials from your Twitter account and embed those onto your WordPress blog or website. So first of all, if you have a very active Twitter account like I do, I have over 25,000 followers on Smart Office Help's Twitter account, and I engage with my followers a lot. And so I get lots of um, compliments and questions by way of Twitter. So I decided to use some of those testimonials or compliments on my website, and I'm going to show you how to do it also. So first of all, what you need to do is go into your notifications. And once you go into your notifications, once you go into your notifications, um, you'll be able to look through those and find the exact tweets that you would like to embed into your website. Now, just to give you a, a heads up, you can only go back about six months into your notifications and um, be able to pick up those tweets. Now, those tweets are actually archived and you could probably find them using a Google search, but it would be kind of difficult. So you might want to kind of look through your tweets every couple of months or every monthly you can make yourself a schedule and that way you can pick up the tweets that you need and then put them onto your blog or your website. Okay, so I am going to use this tweet right here where it says, thanks for the great training, and I'll show you the whole conversation. Okay, now this is a pretty uh, short comment, but it's still a good one. And this is from Mary Ann Giblin. And this is in response to a tweet that I tweeted to please retweet podcast. You may be missing out. Learn how to listen and subscribe to podcast. Now, this link actually goes to a YouTube video, but I don't want to put this onto my YouTube account, of course, because I don't own the ownership to YouTube, but I do own, I do have the rights and the ownership to my website and to my blog, so I want to put it there. This is the page that I'm going to embed my tweet on as a testimonial, and this is how to subscribe and to listen to the podcast, and basically... All, the only thing that's on this page is it tells you how to use iTunes, uh, RSS reader, or you can listen by using a podcatcher, or you can stream directly. So it's a pretty straightforward, kind of a plain page. So this will kind of add a little dynamics to the page by me doing this. So of course, you go into your WordPress admin page, and um, you'll have to open it up there. Open up your post. Open up your page or post here in your admin page and then find the spot where you want to add it to. And I think I'm just going to add it. I think I'm just going to add it at the end. Now we're back on Twitter and this is the actual post or tweet that we want to use. Now I want to make sure that it picks up the whole conversation. So instead of embedding this tweet, I want to embed this tweet right here. So you'll go over these three little dots, and when you hover over it, it will say more. Click on that, and you get a drop-down menu. Here, you will select Embed Tweet. Now, when you select the Embed Tweet, you'll see it's going to give you a code. It's already highlighted, so all you have to do is copy it, and it gives you a preview also. So it shows the original tweet, and then it shows the response to that tweet. Now, before we do that, let's go back up here to the original tweet. Go to the three little dots where it has more. Click on there and select Embed Tweet. And as you can see, the only preview you'll see is just that tweet itself. So that's not what we're looking for. You could use that also, but I want to use the whole conversation. We want to use the whole conversation. So again, Hover over the more, the three little dots, select it. You get your drop down menu and select embed tweet. Now we'll just copy where it's blue here. It's already, already selected and go back over to your WordPress site in your admin section. And now you're going to find where you want to put this at. And I've decided to put it at the end. 
So here you have two tabs in your editing, uh, where you're editing the post at, and we want to be in text. So let's select text, and that's where you can put coding in. We're going to go all the way to the end, because this is where I want this, and we're just going to drop the code in. Now, if you go back over to the visual side, you still can't see it. You'll see some text here, and you'll see where it just says, thanks, great training. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and um, let's preview it. All right, now we're in the actual post, and we're previewing it. We put it at the end, and as you can see, it shows just as it did in the preview over on Twitter. It'll show the whole conversation. Now, what I think I'm going to do additionally is just add the original post only. So let's go back over to Twitter. And here, we're going to go to our more, the three dots, select it. We get our drop down menu and say embed tweet. I'm going to copy this code, go back over to our editing window here in WordPress, and I'm going to go over to text. And I'm going to put this over the conversation that we just put in. So that's here. You got to be kind of careful. It's hard to see. And then we'll look over here on the visual side. And it still looks a, a bit funky, but don't worry about that. Let's, let's preview this before we make the save. Here over on the preview side, we have the actual page that's coming up. And you'll see now, this is the actual tweet. And you also see within this tweet, if somebody wanted to follow Smart Office Help, all they have to do is hit this follow button here. Because Smart Office Help has Twitter cards enabled, wherever this tweet is posted, it's going to show the Twitter cards, which in this case is video. So you can actually play the video from this tweet. You can perform all the actions that you can perform over on Twitter here on the web page now. And if we go down a little bit further, then we can see the conversation that we had with 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 Miss Mary Ann. And she wants to thank us. She said it's a great training. So that's a great testimonial for that YouTube. Now, we only previewed this. So we're going to go ahead and update it. So we'll make sure that all the the changes are saved. That's how you use testimonials on your website. It makes your website more dynamic and then you also gives your it also gives your readers another way to follow you over on Twitter. Well, that's it. If you have any social media related questions, please leave those in the comments below. I love to engage with my fans and followers. So make sure that you go over to smartofficehelp.com and sign up for updates. With that, go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day.